Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Lucien Avramov. I'm a, an engineer working in the Cisco ACI team. And the purpose of this brown bag today is for me to go over especially the group-based policy efforts we do in OpenStack and um, tell you also a little bit about our technology that we do with Cisco, which are related to all our OpenStack efforts. So to get started, um, this week when we look at what user wants to do around this, this forum and how they want to deploy, deploy networks, um, the end users typically want to deploy applications. And so here's an example of a three-tier application client, database, and web, and that's what they want to go and deploy in their infrastructure. That's their end goal. Um, however, when they go on, for example, Neutron Nova and they want to deploy this, the way it looks like is this. Um, external network, router, network subnets, you have to define all these entities, decide what you're going to use, and then implement the network model, trying to go over this application model that you really wanted to do. So this is what we're solving. We avoid you to have to go to that model. And this is our OpenStack group-based policy work group. And we will basically give you a more abstract way to define the networking piece. So this is our group-based policy model. In our group-based policy model, you will define a group, which would be endpoint. An endpoint could be a port. It could be a virtual port. It could be a host name. Um, but it's from a network perspective, which are the end users uh, virtual machine, physical machines that will participate in this specific group of application. And we will define in that group, uh, for sp each specific group, policies. And the policies could be layer 2, layer 3, VLAN, subnet, and um, we will say what we want to do with that group in terms of routing and switching. And furthermore, we will do actions, and we will say what type of traffic we allow, what direction from application one to application two, or from application two vice versa, uh, bidirectional, unidirectional. And we can even go one step further and add service chaining. So with group-based policy, really this is what we do. We do this abstraction level to mimic really what the end intent is for uh, the deployment. Here is um, an overview of the architecture. Um, where we sit, with group policy API is between Neutron uh, and Horizon Heat and the CLI of OpenStack. So we will fit in and talk to, to, um, to Neutron, but we're a higher level up, as you can see. And from there onwards, it's from Neutron that you will connect to your mapping driver where you have Cisco device, you use a Cisco driver, where you have other vendors, you use other vendors. But um, group policy is really a level of abstraction higher up that you can use for the vendor, vendor network that you choose to have. Um, and it could be a mixture of different vendors as well. So this is our group policy, um, group-based policy effort. Now, I'd like to tell you about the underlying Cisco technology that we provide to also build a foundation network uh, for the data center. And this is the Cisco ACI. With Cisco ACI, you can build a network environment, which is a really, um, we call it a two-tier topology, spine and leaf. But as you can see, it's network as a service, really. That's our end intent. We will deploy um, on top of racks in your data center network equipment, and any port anywhere will provide the same type of service and knowledge about the applications and the policies. So besides providing you Ethernet switches that would be capable to run usual, usual um, OS, Cisco OS software, they could also run our application level software, our ACI software, which will provide a different level of abstraction. And in our ACI environment, we have an API, very open API model, where you can go and program hypervisors, um, service chaining with firewalls, load balancers, orchestrators with OpenStack, for example, CloudStack, Red Hat, etc. Um, storage applications, servers, and 
under, um, down under uh, the fabric on the southbound API level, we have the different operating systems. Right. So this is a benefit of, of the Cisco ACI solution that we, we offer. Um, how does the R plugin work? We actually have today an ML2 driver plugin, which we have been um, supporting for the last six months already in, in, in production environments. And what our plugin does in terms of um, ACI is to interconnect um, your OpenStack Neutron deployment to the ACI fabric and translate the operations you will do in Neutron um, to, and program the network fabric in a seamless fashion. Um, we do have OpenStack partners. Um, we have uh, Canonical, Red Hat, and Mirantis, and we, uh, we support all these different distributions for OpenStack along with our group-based policy model and also ACI, which is an add-on that would add value. Um, before I go into um, a, a short demo where I'd like to show you how these things work, uh, project status, um, group-based policy is a live project on StackForge. There's a new URL here. You can see how to get more information about the StackForge project and download our group-based policy agent and run it today uh, on OpenStack with any type of equipment underneath, including our ACI equipment, of course, and our wiki page second link for group-based policy. So with this, um, that concludes our slide deck. I'd like to go ahead and, and show you a visual of our uh, of what group-based policy is and how it ties in to our to OpenStack. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and play this. Here um, we have basically OpenStack um, and what you can see in the project tab is a policy now function under network. So you have network orchestration and policy. And in policy, what you see now is the way to configure the policy. We have groups, application policies, network and service policies, and network services. In each one of these, we will define um, the end intent. And so this is a different way than the usual network and router type of configuration that I was mentioning. And this project is an OpenStack project. And as I said, you can run this regardless of the underlying infrastructure that you have. And that's group-based policy. Now, when we go and look at the Cisco ACI solution for the network environment, you will find something very similar in our approach. The way we configure the network infrastructure um, in ACI is very, very similar. It's based on tenants, application, um, network profiles, and endpoint groups. Here, now I'm going to actually create a network requirement, and I'm going to create a, diff three, a, a couple of tier application, a two-tier application in this case, and I will create endpoint groups. So actually I have web, client one, and client two, so it's a three-tier app that I have, and I will create a policy and a contract. And you see these commands are the GBP commands, uh, group-based policy that we run on our OpenStack controller. So furthermore now, I execute this command. This just simplifies the process of creating my three-tier application instead of going and clicking, um, which will take me longer in this demonstration to do. So for this purpose, I've just automated on, uh, open on the OpenStack controller the crea creation of the group-based policy, which is now complete. And now I click on groups, and here we go. Take a look here, and you see the three different groups, web, client one, client two, which are our, our three-tier app. We have an application policy where we allow web traffic and where we allow ICMP traffic in the application policy. We have policy rules where we allow ping, we allow HTTP, HTTPS, and these are the actions allow, as you see. We have a network and service policy, which is default, layer three for routing, to enable routing as well on our tenant. And now when we go to the ACI infrastructure, what you see is OpenStack 
um, through group based policy and Neutron created on the network infrastructure the three tier application for the switches. And now our switches are aware of the same application endpoint groups, which are web, client one, client two. And you see um, this is our Cisco representation of a three tier application, but it's similar to group based policy. It's the same vision that we have end to end. And this allows you to uh, create an abstraction level on OpenStack, and you have a network which follows the same abstraction model. You can see here contracts, and we allow the same type of policies across our network. And as you can see here, there was no need to worry about a selection of a VLAN, um, where to configure it, what router port to do, um, what to do in terms of security for IP tables for the hosts, all this is enforced within the network on the switches that run in the Cisco fabric, and this is aligned with the group-based policy model. So to conclude and wrap up this session, what I, what I hope you take away from it is, number one, we have a project, group-based policy in OpenStack, where we bring a level of abstraction for Neutron to allow end users to create the application intent instead of having to create networks, routers, subnets, VLANs, and such. Number two, we are absolutely aligned with the Cisco ACI vision, which was the premise foundation of the policy-driven data center that we came up about two years ago, and now we're taking onwards to OpenStack. Number three, group-based policy is today available. You can go ahead and download it and uh, experience group-based policy with your underlying network infrastructure, which hopefully would be Cisco ACI, but could be Cisco Nexus, or could be any type of Ethernet switch that would plug in and have at least an ML2 driver on OpenStack. And thank you for watching. <laughs>